Aries, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. This particular reading, guys, it's going to be focusing on a past love or a lost love, of course, depending on how you see it. And I'm going to start off with this deck. This one's by Angelic Revelation 144. It's called Ghostly Whispers of Love Oracle. And it's definitely focused on those who have had no contact in a while. You haven't seen this person, but there was clearly a real connection in the past. So let's go ahead and tap into that energy, Aries, and see what presents itself here, okay? And it is general as always, so always be open to the messages, take from it what makes sense for you, and release what doesn't. All right, focusing on past love, a lost love for Aries. Angels and spirit guides, please. Wow, we've got soul marriage coming through. You will always be my wife or husband. You guys could have connected in a past life as well. Maybe you guys were, <clears throat> excuse me, we, you could have been married in a past life. And I just ultimately feel that this was a very strong soul bond between two people. Whether you were married or not in this lifetime, it's two people who were really gravitated towards each other. Perhaps you feel like this person is your twin flame or certainly a very strong soul connection. So let's go ahead and see from a different deck what else presents itself here. I'll be pulling from the Golden Dahlia deck, the Dustin Oracle by Maria of La Belle Anima 13. And of course, all the decks that you see will be listed down below. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Aries, what else do we need to know, please? You will always be my wife or husband. Yeah, I can't help but feel that there were, uh, could have been past life connections here. All right, let's see what other energies present itself here. And then we'll, of course, take a look at the tarot messages. Frustrated. Okay, they could be frustrated because you're not together at this point in time. The, the next card after that, we have happily ever after. The card after that is solitude. So somebody could be feeling quite alone and isolated from you, or you could be feeling that way because you're not with this person. At one point in time, you know, there was this dream of how you guys interacted, you know, the whole happily ever after, that everything's going to be fine, you're going to live your life together. But it ultimately did not work out in that way. And so part of that frustration could be where you're both at, you know, just very frustrated that it did not work out. Okay, so let's clarify with tarot, I'll be pulling from my illuminated star tarot. This is volume two. Angels and spirit guides, please for Aries. This solitude card too, it reminds me of the hermit, that Virgo energy. Some of you guys might be thinking of a Virgo. Maybe you have Virgo in your chart as well. All right, let's see. Four Aries. Ooh, we've got the Knight of Cups. The two of you together. And I mean, just look at this beautiful energy and that image. You really had this beautiful connection. This could represent the divine masculine in the relationship. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign here, cups representing the water. So Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Very romantic in nature. We do have loving intentions from this person. But typically I do pick up more so of a masculine energy from that card. Let's see what else. Ooh, we've got the Hierophant. So I, I really do feel this type of vibe where going back to the very first message that came through, that soul marriage, the Hierophant can represent that. The commitment, the spiritual lesson perhaps that they learned as a result of what happened between the two of you. 
You could also be dealing with a Taurus specifically. So they're, they're just really looking for a traditional kind of relationship, but maybe something happened here that they can't either get get that right now or they lost you. There are obstacles standing in the way of the two of you coming together. But we do have the Six of Cups, so they are definitely thinking about you. This is a card of memories. This is a card of feeling nostalgic and... There's definitely a past influence here, and that's what we are focused on for this particular reading. Someone from your past who's thinking about you, missing you, possibly, you know, part of that frustration could be because of their inability to commit fully at the time. That might have something to do with, you know, why you guys are not together right now. Speaking of the hermit, look at that. There it is. So when the two of you went into separation, I feel that gave this person, you know, a lot of time on their hands to really focus on what happened. And ultimately, maybe they're really upset that they didn't do more or fight harder for the connection. So I, I kind of feel based off of what we're seeing with the Solitude card and then now the Hermit coming through. They are perhaps trying to fill their lives with other connections, other people, but they just keep coming up empty. And that's causing them to really think back to what the two of you had. Ultimately, what it is that they are wanting is a fresh start. You know, the Ace of Wands, of course, representing that there's still a spark there. They still feel that when they think about you. They focus on the memories, again, that you guys had shared at one point in time. And they really want a second chance here, I feel. Look at the next card, though. We have the Eight of Cups. That's what created the distance, more than likely. If you relate to this, you either distanced yourself, you walked away from them, or maybe they just didn't have the necessary tools at that time to recognize what this relationship meant. So they could have decided to end things as well. We do have the Seven of Cups. They could have entertained other options. Maybe they had fantasies or temptations when it came to other people. There could have been infidelity here. So I feel that they regret some of the choices that they've made and now they are feeling quite alone without you. But we have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel this person has definitely learned some lessons since the last time you guys saw each other. Part of this energy of the Ace of Pentacles has a lot to do with prosperity and abundance. So maybe they have dedicated a lot of their time towards their growth, maybe in their work environment. But this is also about being able to manifest so much in your love life as well, you know. And this could be their way of showing you that they mean business, that they are fully ready to commit, that they want a fresh start. And now here's a solid offer of commitment that they are offering. So that's the message that I'm seeing here. And then bottom of the deck, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So the two of you really are meant to be and find your way back to each other. Who's to say that that can't happen? With the Wheel of Fortune, maybe you guys are still destined to reconnect somewhere down the line. All right, Aries, so that's what I've got for you. If you are interested in your own personal reading, that info is down below, as well as the links to the decks that you see here. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next reading.